Hey, this is Mike. I want to talk a little bit about uh, the palette knives that I use and uh, give you some uh, examples of how I use different knives for creating different effects. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different knives, but to be honest with you, I, I spent money that I didn't need to spend. I don't use that one. I shouldn't say don't. I rarely use that one. Uh, but these I use on a regular basis. Uh, first one I want to talk about is this big flat 1028 Utrecht knife. Um, I use it strictly for mixing paints up. It's, it's excellent that I highly suggest you mix your paints with a knife first and then apply it on your support versus mixing them with brushes. So let me show you how I mix paint with this big knife. All right, so just squeeze out a couple colors here. Get the big knife, and what's really nice is uh, all you need is a paper towel to uh, clean off your knife as we start mixing and switch colors. It's, it's very handy. Uh, really want to try to avoid mixing with a brush. Uh, it just contaminates colors too easily. So just take your knife, scoop out a piece of paint, take out your next color, and just mush it around just like a just like butter. Back and forth and back and forth, flip it around. Just push on that knife. It's really nice and flexible. If you like when you uh, add some paint to it and you see that the color is giving you a nice texture, Let's see if I can zoom in on that. You could just use that, just scrape that right up. Put that right on to your canvas. So otherwise, you just keep going back and forth and back and forth till the paint is swirling around a little bit till it's mixed very well. I got a nice, nice orange there. So I can't do that with a brush. I mean, it's pretty hard. So that's what I use this knife for. Take a little speck of white and just tint that down. I can drag that out a little bit and I can compare easy the colors that I've got going. How do I clean it? I use Viva towels. They work, they work very good for cleaning. So it's just that easy and I've got a clean knife ready for the next color. One of the next steps, uh, how I would use a knife, is for applying it to a painting. So I've got my paint mixed up, and I want to scrape up some paint and have it on the edge of the knife. So I want to make sure that one edge of my knife has a pretty good slab of, of paint on it. Got an old panel here. So when I put that down, I can just hold the knife right where I want it. I can create a line. I can also drag it. I go like this. Create edges. Dab it. Notice that it, once I get to a point where there's not enough paint on it, I have to readjust the paint on the knife, get it out to the outward edge, and continue applying the paint. Another way you can, if I had a lot of paint, I'm going to move that around. I like to 
Got a nice thick pasto. Let's go like this. Scraping, moving. So I can do a lot with with this knife. I have no problem getting in there and doing different things with it. The point is great. It uh, comes in very handy for cutting in trees. Uh, just scraping back the paint. And the eye has an illusion that you've created a tree in the background. So it's one way to use the knife. Um, scraping, plying. And come back then. And the trick is not to to do a lot of blending. Just touch the paint very lightly and then leave it. Now this is oil paint. Paint that thick will take days to dry. So why you create some really nice textures and lots of thick layers. Um, that's one of the challenges with oil is it's going to take a while. You can do the same thing with acrylic paints. Um, get uh, similar results. Not quite this vibrant. And not quite this thick. But uh, that's something you can do with with the knife. Really some interesting textures that you can create. The secret too I think is a, a really light touch. Uh, with I don't really push hard and I don't do a lot of mixing once I'm on the canvas. Uh, so that's how I would use this particular knife in this application. I just talked about uh, using the palette knife to scrape back paint on a painting to give the illusion of uh, trees. This particular painting is scraped back a couple areas to help identify some branches and uh, trees that are in the distance. Works very good for making the appearance of trees in the distance.